Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things. Treasure your blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Attend unto my righteousness, O Lord. Give heed to my supplication. Give ear to my prayer, which comes not from deceitful lips. Let my judgment come forth from thy presence. Let mine eyes behold uprightness. Thou hast proved my heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire. And in righteousness was not found in me, so that my mouth might not speak of the works of men. For the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard. Direct my steps in thy paths, so that my footsteps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast heard me, O God. Incline thine ear to me, and hear my words. Show thy marvelous mercies, O thou that savest them that hope in thee, from them that resist thy right hand. Keep me as the apple of thine eye, O Lord. Thou shalt shelter me in the shelter of thy wings, from the face of the ungodly that oppressed me. My enemies surrounded my soul. They enclosed themselves in their own fat. Their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encompassed me. They set their eyes to look down on the earth. They seized me like a lion ready for his prey, and like a young lion dwelling in hidden places. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from the ungodly, thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy few separate them from the earth in their life. And their belly was filled with hidden treasures, and they were satisfied with sons, and the remnants they left to their babes. But as for me, I shall be seen in righteousness before thy face, and I shall be satisfied when I see thy glory. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O my God, I have put my trust in thee. Let me not be put to shame, neither let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, for none of them that wait on thee shall be ashamed. Let them be ashamed that transgress without cause. Make thy ways known to me, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. And on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and mine ignorance. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for them that seek his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall set a law for him in the way which he has chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and his covenant shall be made known to them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Deliver me from my necessities. Look upon my lowliness and my trouble, and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied, and they hated me with an unjust hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have set my hope on thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I waited on thee, O Lord. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done what is evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unknown and hidden things of thy wisdom hast thou made known unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness, the bones that have been humbled shall rejoice. 
Turn thy face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and establish me with a governing spirit. I will teach transgressors thy ways and the ungodly shall return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I would have given it. Thou wilt not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. When thou didst descend to death, O life immortal, thou didst slay hell with the splendor of thy Godhead. And when from the depths thou didst raise the dead, all the powers of heaven cried out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O light of orthodoxy, teacher of the church, its confirmation. O ideal of monks, and invincible champion of theologians. O wonder-working Gregory, glory of Thessalonica, and preacher of grace. Always intercede before the Lord that our souls may be saved. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine who has budded forth the fruit of life. We entreat thee, O Sovereign Lady, intercede together with the holy apostles that he may be merciful to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, love mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, love mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, love mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Light of the kingdom, of the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto us, and Amen. Holy and divine instrument of wisdom, joyful trumpet of theology, together we sing thy praises, O God-inspired Gregory, since thou now standest before the original mind, God our minds to him, O Father, so that we may sing to thee, Rejoice, Preacher of Grace. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long-suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds. Deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by their host. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Through the prayer of our most blessed Master, our Lord, Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on all. Amen. O, o God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, Thou only begotten Son, and Thou, O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments known to Thee, save me, Thine unworthy servant. For blessed art Thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by Thy name, and judge me by Thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. 
for strangers have risen up against me and mighty men have sought after my soul. They have not set God before them, for behold, God helps me and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He shall reward evils upon my enemies, utterly destroy them in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice to thee. I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For thou hast delivered me out of every affliction, and my eye has looked down upon my enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and despise not my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation and troubled because of the voice of the enemy and because of the oppression of the sinner. For they brought iniquity against me, and in wrath were they indignant with me. My heart was troubled with me, within me, and the fear of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling came upon me, and darkness has covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove? Then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off, and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for him that should save me from faint-heartedness and tempest. Drown them, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and strife in the city. Day and night it shall go round about her on her walls, and iniquity and sorrow and unrighteousness are in the midst of her, and usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if an enemy had reproached me, I would have borne it, and if one who hated me had spoken evils against me, I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, O man of like soul, my guide and my own familiar friend, who together with me didst make our meals sweet, we walked in the house of God with one mind. Let death come upon them and let them go down alive into hell, for wickedness is in their dwellings in the midst of them. As for me, I cried to God and the Lord heard me. Evening and morning and at noon, I will recount and declare it and he shall hear my voice. He shall deliver my soul in peace from them that draw near to me, for they were with me in great numbers. God shall hear and shall humble them, he that exists before the ages. For there is no change with them, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand for retribution. They have profaned his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts drew nigh. His words were smoother than oil, yet they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, O God, shalt bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwells in the help of the Most High shall abide under the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say to the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge, my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from a troubling word. He shall overshadow thee with his shoulders, and under his wings shalt thou hope. His truth shall encompass thee with a shield. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the thing that walks in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou consider and see the reward of sinners. For thou, O Lord, art my hope. Thou hast made the Most High thy refuge. No evil shall come upon thee, and no scourge shall draw near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up on their hands, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the asp and the basilisk, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and the dragon. For he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he has known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hear him. I am with him in affliction, and I will deliver him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. When thou didst descend to death, O life immortal, thou didst slay hell with the splendor of thy Godhead. And when from the depths thou didst raise the dead, all the powers of heaven cried out, O giver of life, Christ our God, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O light of orthodoxy, teacher of the church, its confirmation. O ideal of monks, and invincible champion of theologians. O wonder-working Gregory, glory of Thessalonica, and preacher of grace, always intercede before the Lord that our souls may be saved, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. 
as we have no boldness on account of the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who was born of thee, for much more is the prayer of a mother able to incline the master unto kind-heartedness. Despise not the supplications of sinners, O all-pure one, for merciful and strong to save is he who condescended to suffer for us. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Now is the time for action. Judgment is at the door, so let us rise and fast, offering alms with tears of compunction and crying. Our sins are much more in number than the sands of the seas, but forgive us, O Master of all, so that we may receive the incorruptible crowns. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long-suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation to the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that, guided and guarded by their host, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. The prayers of our most blessed Master, the Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts and author of all creation, who in thine effable and tender mercy has sent down thine only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind, and through his precious cross has torn up the record of our sins, and thereby triumphed over the princes and dominions of darkness. Do thou, O Master, who lovest mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication even from us sinners, and deliver us from every dark and deadly transgression and from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee, and let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts. Rather wound our souls with thy love, that ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light, and beholding thee the eternal light that no man can approach, we may offer up unceasing praises and thanksgiving unto thee, the Father without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son, thine and thine all-holy good and life-giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Holy 
churches of God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Ticon, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Alright, Reverend Abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all its brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord President, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy habitation, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. sick and the suffering for captives in their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our Lord. Amen. Unto thee are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For thine is the might and thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Princes and sons of men, in whom there is no 
and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Amen. Thou art a good God and love us mankind unto thee, do we send our glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
So great is salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord, and was confirmed unto us by them that heard him. Brethren, every high priest is ordained to offer both gifts and sacrifices, wherefore it is necessary that he also should have something to offer. For if he were on earth, he would not be a priest, since there would be other priests to offer gifts according to the law, who serve unto the examples and shadows of heavenly things. As Moses was admonished by God when he was about to make the tabernacle, for he said, See that thou make all things according to the pattern shown thee on the mountain. But now he hath obtained a better ministry, inasmuch as he is also a mediator of a better covenant, which is established upon better promises. To thy spirit, Yahweh, in the second zone, the Lord is my strength and my song, he has become my salvation. Sick of the palsy, 
which was born of four. And when they could not come nigh unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when they had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, Why doth this man thus speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? And immediately when Jesus perceived in his spirit that they so reasoned within themselves, he said unto them, Why reason ye these things in your hearts? Whether is it easier to say to the sick of the palsy, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise, and take up thy bed, and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins, he saith to the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, Arise, and take up thy bed, and go thy way into thine house. And immediately he arose, took up the bed, and went forth before them all, insomuch that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw it on this fashion. and for the newly departed Patriarch Neophyte, Mother Anna, Matishka Elizabeth, Presbyter Constantina, Timothy Michael, Nathan, Peter Curtis, Elizabeth, Cynthia, Dorea, Mary Ann, Asumina, Evelyn, Michael, Andrew, and the mitred Archpriest Anthony, and for all our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. salvation and visitation for the servants of God, Metropolitan Tikhon, Archbishop Michael, Archbishop Mark, and Bishop Alexei, Archimandrites, Sergius and Gabriel, Eugumens, Leontie, and Cyprian, Archbishop John, Stephen, Alexander, John, Daniel, and John, Hieromonk and Acanti, Priest Ignatius, Vincent, Michael, Paul, and Michael, Hierodeacon Mark, Monks, Nicodemus, and Kirill, Rosford, Monks, Michael, Stephen, Stephanos, George, Paul, and Michael, 
novices Andrew, Jeremiah, Pastor Layman, Noah, Hezekiel, and Zechariah, Subdeacon Martin, Leaders John, Paul, Benedict, Richard, and Joshua, Nana Joanna, Russ, Werner, and Ruthie, Manishka, Kathy, Jeanette, Catherine, Dorothy, Alexandra, Abigail, Elizabeth, Amelia, Gail, Anastasia, and Rachel, Mary, Judith, Ann, Patrick, Maria, Zenia, John, Anastasia, Eugene, Christopher, John, Anton, and Katerina, Matthew, Matthew, Nikki, Jim, Eric, Earl, Michael, John, Amy, and Christopher, Jerusalem, Agnia, David, Mark, Olga, William, Kathleen, Natalia, Anne, Christine, Daniel, Elena, Sue, Samuel, Katerina, Derek, Cynthia, Mary, Jacob, Michael, Deborah, Diane, Tom, Nima, Father Raphael, Michael, Peter, Andrew, Vincent, George, Marilyn, Rachel, Korea, Martha, Constantine, Gordon, Brian, Anthony, Fotini, Trevor, Anna, Chris, Kiva, Matthew, Tom, Patrick, Glenn, Adrian, Amata, David, Child, Theophan, Matishka, Nadia, Igor, Vasily, Nona, Nadezhda, Ogiria, Lydia, Ken, Romana, Esther, Joseph, John, and Joseph, all the seminarians, faculty, administration, staff, alumni, trustees, benefactors, and pilgrims of this holy habitation and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Give thanks unto thee, O Lord, for all the good thou hast done for thy service in this holy habitation, O continue thy mercy to thine unworthy service, and grant us benefactors to help us build a new dining hall to present for the monastics and community of this holy habitation. We pray thee, O great, thee, merciful Lord, hear us, grant this unto us, and show us thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. O physician of souls and bodies, with compunction and broken hearts, we fall down before thee and cry. Heal the sickness, heal the passions of soul and body of thy servants. Our commanderites Gabriel and Zacharias, Agumen, Leonti, Archpriest, Alexander, Peter, Vasily, Yaroslav, Amelia, and John, Dennis, Peter, Gregory, Nicholas, Vladimir, Daniel, Michael, and David, for the priest Thaddeus, Deacon Jorge, Monks Nicodemus, and Kirill, Mother Ioana, Mother Cassiana, Vesna, Sub Schema Mark Anthony, Subdeacon Jonathan, Subdeacon John, and Seraphim, Reader Ezekiel, Julia, Glenn, Eugene, Machish Larissa, Melanie, Tamara, Gretchen, Kathy, Mara, Anastasia, and Kathy, for Catherine, Peter, Linda, Nicholas, Niall, Sonia, Anna, Basam, Edward, Vincent, Anastasia, and Norma, Robert, Laura, Pamela, Damian, Sue, Jan, Ruth, Kenneth, and Joseph, Penelope, Beza, Alexander, Virginia, Gabriel, Paraskeva, Maria, Valeri, George, Cynthia, Zachary, Herman, Adrian, Suzanne, Ekaterina, Gabriella, Ekaterina, David, Mary, Kathy, Joshua, Tina, Vito, Saba, Lola, Danielle, David, Elizabeth, Elena, Anna, Archpiece, Patrick, Serafima, Ellen, Frederick, Philothea, Nicholas, Elizabeth, Ed, Edmund, Nancy, Lynette, Korea, Martha, Brian, Dennis, Emily, Emily Ruth, Child, Anastasia, Elizabeth, Villarica, Mara, Amy, Diana, Arlene, Nathan, Anna, Jesse, Mark, Anthony, Joseph, Amy, Michael, Anna, Nina, Adam, Senia, Sarah, Ann, Pat, William, Catherine, Peconia, Julia, Sophia, Michael, Adelaide, Margaret, Michael, Karine, Ephosini, Christina, Ava, Christina, John, Mary, Donia, Robert, Marianne, Alan, Gregory, Nina, Trey, and Zachary, Loris, Peter, the Wolf, James, Michael, Paul, Demetrius, Margaret, Larissa, Anna, Elizabeth, Deacon, John, Christopher, Child, Anna, Carolyn, Anne, Michael, Susan, Mary, Mokshifon, Alexei, Yelena, and running like loving kindness, pardon all their sins, whether voluntary and voluntary, because we raise them up from their bed of sickness. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Deliver Joseph from the animosity of his brethren, guiding him into Egypt, and through thy goodness making him prosperous in all things. Thus also thy servant, our commanderite Sergius, is preparing to travel, that he may journey in peace and safety. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, Offerings into good works in this holy and the venerable temple for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. Lord, Father and to the 
Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, ye catechumens. Let us the faithful pray for the catechumens that the Lord may have mercy on them, that he may teach them the word of truth.
Bishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Right Reverend Abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. The Brotherhood of this holy monastery, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. This country is present in all civil authorities and those in the armed forces. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, into ages of ages. The clergy, the monastics, and all that persecuted and suffered for the Orthodox faith, the founders and benefactors of this holy habitation, the seminaries, faculty, staff, administration, and students, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, into ages of ages. You and all Orthodox Christians, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, unto ages of ages.
disciples and apostles, saying, Take heed, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Amen. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Especially with our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary.
Congressman Mo Lord, the most blessed Tikhon Archbishop of Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, grant him for thy holy churches and peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly to divide the word of thy truth. God, 
begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. song to Christ our God, who parted the sea, and through it led his people, whom he had brought out of bondage in Egypt, for he has been glorified. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. O compassionate Lord, let thy holy body and thy precious blood be for me the bread of everlasting life, healing me of manifold afflictions. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Make me worthy to partake of thy most pure body and thy divine blood, O Christ, for I am wretched and unworthy, defiled by unseemly deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O bounteous land, O blessed bride of God, though unsown, thou didst bear the ear of grain that saves the world. Grant that I may eat of it and find salvation. Thou hast established me on the rock of faith. Thou hast opened wide my mouth against my enemies, for my spirit rejoices in singing. None is holy but our God, and none is righteous but thou, O Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God. On this second Sunday of Lent, we celebrate a second triumph of orthodoxy. Last week, the church affirmed the veneration of icons, 
Today, the church affirms that we can come to know God in a very real way. St. Gregory Palamas taught that while God is unapproachable in his essence, he reveals himself through his energies. Or as Father Florovsky says, God is distant from us by nature, but not by proximity. It is indeed impossible for us to know the essence or nature of God, but we can still know him and experience him in every moment of our lives. We are still able to see him, hear him, and feel him. We see Christ every time we look at our neighbor. We hear Christ every time we hear the scriptures. And we feel him very literally every time we receive communion. Every day we hear that God is everywhere present and fills all things. During Lent, we often sing, God is with us. God is with us, but we must reach out to him. God is with us, but it is up to us to decide if we want to know him. This is the greatest opportunity any one of us will ever receive to know our Creator. We must not pass this by. The Church gives us a wonderful example of how to accomplish this in the story of Luke and Cleopas on their journey to Emmaus after our Lord's resurrection. They were walking to Emmaus, but their journey was to the knowledge of God. As they were walking, Christ appeared to them, although they did not know who he was. He then began to teach them the scriptures and reveal to them the meaning of his death and resurrection. When they reached the village, they invited Jesus to stay with them. He then sat with them, took bread, blessed it, and break and gave to them. And only then were their eyes opened and they knew him. So how can we apply this to our own lives? First, we must hear the word of God. This means coming to the services, hearing the epistle, gospel, and Old Testament readings, hearing the hymnography and the prayers of the church and the lives of the saints. Once we have heard the gospel, we must then live the gospel. Luke and Cleopas first learned the scriptures, and then they offered hospitality to someone they thought was a stranger. We are called to do the same. We are called to love everyone, to care for those in need, and to bring the gospel to those who haven't heard it. For if we do not love our neighbor, then we do not love Christ. In order to live the gospel, we must also be actively engaged in the life of the church through prayer, fasting, and repentance, especially during the season of Lent, as well as regularly receiving the sacraments. Ultimately, the best way we can come to know Christ is in the Eucharist, as Luke and Cleopas only knew him after the breaking of the bread. But it shouldn't end there. We should take the grace we have been given and share it with all those we come in contact with. My grandfather always talked about the liturgy after the liturgy. This means taking the spirit of joy, love, and peace we have received in the liturgy out into the world and not forget it as soon as we step outside. This is how we may begin to come to know Christ. After Luke and Cleopas knew Christ, they realized that their hearts were burning within them while he was teaching them the scriptures. Even when we may not realize, which is perhaps more often the case, Christ is working within us. He is also right beside us every step of the way even if we do not recognize him as he was walking with Luke and Cleopas. May we, through the prayers of St. Gregory Palamas and Saints Luke and Cleopas, learn to hear and live the gospel so that we may come to know our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, together with his Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God.
spirit within me. Give me flowing tears, O Master Christ, to wash the filth from my heart. In good conscience purified, let me come with fear and faith to commune of thy divine gifts. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Let thy most pure body and thy divine blood be the remission of my sins, O lover of man, unto the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, life everlasting and estrangement from passions and sorrows. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy table of the heavenly bread that came down from on high for the sake of his mercy toward us, giving new life to the world, though I am unworthy, grant me now to taste of him in fear and to live. Thou didst come from a virgin, not an ambassador, nor an angel, but the Lord himself incarnate, and thou didst save me, the whole man. Therefore I cry out to thee, glory to thy power, O Lord. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Made flesh for our sake, thou didst will to be slaughtered like a sheep on account of the sins of man, O Lord, extreme in mercy. I therefore pray thee, cleanse my iniquities as well. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Heal the wounds of my soul, O Lord and Master, and sanctify me fully. I am a wretch, but grant that I might partake of thy divine and mystical supper. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. One there is who came from thy womb, O Lady. Incline, that, incline toward me his mercy. I am thy servant, keep me undefiled and without stain, so that I may be sanctified, receiving the spiritual pearl. O Lord, bestower of light and maker of the ages, guide us in the light of thy commandments, for we know none other God save thee. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. As thou didst foretell, O Christ, so may it come to pass for thy poor servant. Abide in me as thou hast promised, for behold, I eat thy flesh and drink thy blood. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. O God, thou word of God, may the glowing coal of thy body bring light to my gloom, and may thy blood bring purity to my defiled soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.
our true God through the prayers of his most pure mother of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles of our fathers among the saints John Chrysostom Archbishop of Constantinople Tikhon of Zdansk your heavenly patron Tikhon of Moscow the founder of his holy habitation of our fathers among the saints Gregory Palamas Archbishop of Thessalonica and innocent metropolitan of Moscow in light of the alleys and equal to the apostles whom we keep this day of the holy and righteous saints such as of God joy came in and of all the saints have mercy and us save us he is good and loves mankind. Good morning. 
Lord Jesus Christ. Father well, Sergius is traveling. We'll be back tomorrow with the Icon of St. Annie's in Las Vegas at Father Paul Hammer's parish. He was a student here a couple of years ago, you may remember. Um, we will have a Malevin to St. Alexis. After the veneration of the cross, please give Father Jordan names that you have for commemoration. Coffee hour next door. All are welcome to attend. Please welcome your visitors here and we feel free, of course, to participate in that as well. Um, check the schedule of services this week on the bulletin for the full cycle that we have each day to continue to practice and participate and struggle through this great Lent in the proper way with the prayer that we need and the fasting that we need. Thank you. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, our God. I thank thee, O Lord, my God, for thou hast not rejected me as sinner, but hast made me worthy to be a partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to commune of thy most pure and heavenly gifts. But, O Master, who lovest mankind, who for our sakes didst die and rise again, and gave us us these dread and life-giving mysteries for the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers, a faith unashamed, a love unfeigned, the fullness of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace and live no longer for myself, but for thee, our master and benefactor. Passing from this life in the hope of eternal life, may I attain to the everlasting rest, where the voice of those who feast is unceasing, and the sweetness of those who behold the ineffable beauty of thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation sings thy praise forever. Amen. <coughs> O Master Christ, our God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion of thy most pure and life-giving mysteries. I therefore pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me, even to my last breath, to partake worthily and with a pure conscience of thy holy things, for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good. And to thee we send up glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou who art a fire, consuming the unworthy. Let me not be consumed, O my Creator, but instead enter into my joints, all my members, my reins, my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgressions, cleanse my soul, and sanctify my reasonings. Make firm my joints and bones, illumine my five senses, nail down the whole of me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me beauty, understanding, and illumination. Show me to be the dwelling of thy spirit alone and not the dwelling of sin. May every evil deed, every carnal passion flee from me as from a fire, as I become thy house through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers and thy love, O my Christ, and make me, thy servant, a child of light, for thou art the only sanctification and brightness of our souls, O good one, and to thee, our Master and God, do we send up glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life and thy precious blood my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me, who am a sinner, worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory at thy dread second coming through the prayers of thy, of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. O most holy Lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy, I thank thee, for although I am unworthy, thou hast made me worthy to be a partaker of that most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, thou that givest birth to the tr gavest birth to the true light. Enliven me, who am deadened by sin, thou that gavest birth to the fountain of immortality. 
Have mercy on me, O loving Mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasonings, and make me worthy even to my last breath to receive uncondemned the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession that I may praise and glorify thee all the days of my life. For thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Thy proclamation has gone out into all the earth, which was divinely taught by hearing thy voice. Thou didst expand the nature of creatures, and didst ennoble the manners of men. O venerable Father of royal priesthood, entreat Christ God that our souls may be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou wast revealed as a sure foundation of the church, granting all men a lordship which cannot be taken away, sealing it with thy precepts, O venerable Basil, revealer of heaven. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Steadfast protectress of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the cries of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us, O Theotokos, for thou dost ever protect those who honor thee. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou givest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. Through the prayers of our most blessed Master, our Lord Jesus Christ, God have mercy on us and save us. 